is a new day and we're off on a new adventure. Sorry, Kay, I'm like cutting your face off. She's eating her cookie back there because breakfast of champions. We're on vacation, calories don't count. But we are leaving Mount St. Helens and heading over to Mount Rainier in Peckwood, Washington, where we're gonna spend two days playing on a really big mountain. I can't wait, let's go. All right. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video. If you need a stroller rental while you're here in Orlando, got a great offer for you at the end of the video. So our first stop of the day is an absolutely beautiful site. This is Mossy Rock Dam. And it is just like picture perfect. And it's really cool because this dam actually has public fishing where you can walk all the way down to the rocks and fish in the water here. And a lot of these lakes are stocked. I mean, there's trout, salmon, sturgeon hatcheries all around here so there's like quite a bit of different kinds of fish you can catch in here too we did it we made it to mount rainier national park and there's giant trees look at how big these trees are what are you gonna do now, hug a tree watch me i will hug a tree today <laughs> but um they're not quite as big as the redwoods but they're i mean they're tall they're just not as wide they just go on forever it smells like nature i love it Got the fish. And we're in. Oh my gosh, this is our first stop. It's just after you enter from the Stevens Point entry. It's called Falls Creek and it is gorgeous. cool if you look at this bedrock you can kind of see how there's like grooves in it <clears throat> that's because this was once a glacier like right where we're standing and as the ice melted and the water moved it kind of like formed grooves in the rock even says right here you are standing on rock polished by glacial ice oh my gosh there's the tiniest little little uh, crick and we're pretty high up like we're actually near the treetops I love that there's still snow covered mountains out here. But this is basically talking about how forests return after the glaciers melt and the trees, they just find a way. That's kind of cool. They have a geographic marker. So you know that north is that way. You can see the water over there. Yeah, that water is way below. So this used to be like the water level millennia ago was all the way up here. And over the millions of years, the water is just gouged all the way down and formed this canyon. 
very wild. So I was just reading, it is 115 feet deep, but only 13 feet wide at its narrowest point, which is probably somewhere in here. Ooh, we're gonna be going through a tunnel. Wow. So from right here where we're standing, the depth of canyon to the water surface, I'm, I'm just gonna hold my phone over, it's 180 feet. And you can this trail a little bit. actually see Mount St. Helens right over there too. Now that is a view. That is just absolutely stunning. Nature is just, oh, I love nature. There's the canyon park. Welcome to Box Canyon. Oh, you can see the waterfall coming down the mountain. Yep, look at that, wow. Oh, so pretty. That's a Awesome. Oh my gosh, this whole mountainside is just covered in little waterfalls. It's so pretty. Out the okay, climb out the top of the sunroof. Just ride it up. <laughs> oh my god, there it is. Yep. Whoa! Yeah, How could it. we not see that like two seconds ago? Because we were down in the bushes. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Like, I can't even. So we're at about 5,400 feet. It's a little challenging to breathe up here. There is a total little river from the snow melt. Just running through the parking lot. Pretty cool. There's just a little bit of water coming off the mountain here. And I love that this trail just ends in like a 10 foot wall of snow. Time to find out if these shoes are waterproof. But go. Can you not? <laughs> The snow is really melting and there's just so much water. There's literally waterfalls everywhere. It's so cool. Stop! No, stop! Ha, oh, I finally convinced the child to go play in the snow. I can't believe it's the end of June and I'm going to be playing in the snow. I have proof. She's actually in the snow. It's literally like 10 degrees cooler just standing on the snow from standing down there in the parking lot. Now that is a beautiful waterfall. Oh my gosh. So this is Reflection Lake. Obviously it's still snow covered. So in probably another week or so, this will all have melted off my butt. I totally fell in the snow. Look, that's where my butt landed. So I'm a little cold right now. I love the color of the ice. Oh, so pretty. But apparently when this is totally defrosted and unmelted, you can actually, in the morning, you have a crystal clear mirror image of the mountain and the lake. I also cannot believe I'm climbing around in snow on the 25th of June. And there's like a lot of snow still. This is pretty epic. Can I do this without busting my butt? Let's see. If I dig my heels in, I should be okay. I'll try to walk in other people's shoe prints. Oh, I just flung snow up my back of my leg. Hello. Oh my gosh, you are so pretty. Hi. Oh, yes, yes. I am Snow White. Come say hi. Oh my god, I love you. Can I bring you home? Can I land on my hand? I'm not going to feed you though. I feel like one of these. Holy moly, that was loud. I feel like one of these birds is going to wind up on my head at some point. 
Look how it's gouged out and it's actually coming from underneath the snow. The snow hasn't melted over it yet. This is called Sugar Bear Creek and I hope y'all can hear me because this water is loud. Oh my gosh, like the whole creek is still snow covered. So it goes under there and then you can kind of see where it comes out down there. That's cool. Oh, here's another one. This is so cool. I love how it does this. And look, there's Mount Rainier. And I don't know, can you see like, my fingers are in the way, but how it turns to like a color of blue greenish almost in some spots? That's actual glaciers. Like those are just sh massive sheets of ice up there. I'm literally just standing at the bottom of a waterfall. This is so cool. I wish I could get behind it because then I could show you the backside of the water. But I'm just standing at the bottom of it. Oh, it is gorgeous. This feels so good standing here. Oh, wow, this is cool. So this is Stevens Creek. And this actually has a fork that meets in the middle. So it comes from both sides. And as you can see right down there, that's where the two sides meet. That water is so green. That is such like pure, fresh snow melt. Water doesn't get any cleaner or better than that. Oh my gosh, the water's just coming from everywhere. There's even like an extra waterfall like right over there. I wish you could go down to this. Like I hope tomorrow we can actually get down to some of the water because it's just, it's so pretty when you get down there. Oh, this is fun. There's like tree down, but they didn't cut it down. Kay's freaking out because she doesn't want to walk into a spider. Oh God, that's high. How far away is this dang river? I can hear it. Yeah, you can hear it. Whew, that was hairy, but we freaking made it. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Look at the color of this water, y'all. This is insane. Like for real, look at how clear this water is. Like it's just crystal clear. I'm thirsty. I think I'll have a drink of the water. I'm not gonna get to the water without water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is so hard. Want some cake? So good. Should have brought the GoPro because we got to make it all the way up there. Can I do this while filming without busting my neck? Let's see, we're lean on this tree. No, I can't. Sorry, I got to put the camera away. Whew. Going up is so much harder, especially when you're as high up in elevation as we are when you're a flatlander. Sorry if this is shaky. This is so much fun to walk through. I think I'm whipping the crap out of Kay with branches. So this is Panther Creek. <clears throat> this is up river of where me and Kay just were. But let me hop across and I can show you where we were at. Yeah, you were up, up actually, the waterfall? we were beyond the waterfall and around to the left. So you can't oh, actually okay. see where we were. Okay. But look, even from up here, look at how clear this water is. Like it's mind boggling. You can see right through it. Look at you hugging a tree. I love my trees. The water moved. No, we gotta go find it. I can hear it. It's that way. Let's go that way. Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, this is so cool. All these trees have film filled like a natural dam across the water here. So you can see as it's going through, it's so much calmer on that side. So the life straw, in theory, was a wonderful idea, but in practicality, it's not easy to drink straight from the water with it, because you got to find a spot where you can actually get into a deep enough piece of water. So the problem when you're fat is, 
you get down to actually suck out of the life straw and you can't get back up again. So this right here is Packwood, Washington. It is the epitome of a small town. This is it, baby. Um, there's a couple stores, a bunch of bars, but we are going to, we're going, what is this place called? So we are going to Cruiser's Pizza. They have pizza, steak, and seafood. This should be an interesting one. I have no idea. So they don't have a big menu. Oh, look, they're cheering for me. Hooray. Um, they got burgers, sandwiches. They got some seafood stuff. We went with pizza tonight. So me and my dad are splitting a large three topping. Kay got a small for herself because leftovers can be taken back and she'll have pizza for breakfast tomorrow. All right, Kay's excited. Are we ready? Oh, look at that cheese, look at that cheese. <laughs> Kay's happy she got a whole pizza all to herself. That looks awesome. Holy cow, look at this pizza, it's amazing. So there was a slight hiccup where they forgot to put the pepperoni on ours, but they're bringing us a whole entire another pizza. Pepperoni free. pizza free. So that's pretty amazing. <clears throat> All right, Kay, this is the only time I'll film you for this. How's the pizza? You like it? Look, she's already like, shut up about the eat. <laughs> look, look at her, shoving her pizza in the corner so nobody can touch it. <laughs> no, I was filming it in the corner because we need space for another pizza. Yes. I don't know what wizardry this is, but why did I have to go all the way to like the furthest possible point from Florida to get good pizza? <laughs> so I have to say, I'm gonna do Lee's little pizza thing here where it's out of five. I'm gonna give this a 4.92. The mushrooms are sliced nice and thin and are perfect. I love that the green peppers are chopped real small, so you're not getting this giant piece of green pepper. The crust is just so crispy, and I like that it's a sweet tomato sauce on the pizza, because I like a sweet uh, sauce on my pizza. Okay, it's super windy, and the sun is in the worst spot ever, but there's a bunch of elk. There's one, two, and then there's one standing over there. Oh, there's a big one. Yep, three. That's so crazy, there's just random elk. Oh wait, there's a fourth one standing right there. You can see elk butt. So the property we're staying at is called the Mountain View Lodge. And this place is cool. So um, one thing to note is you need to book it well in advance because it is like sold out. It's a small resort. It is like standing on that sun. It is so flipping hot. Oh, it's terrible. But come up here, toodle-doodle-doo. So again, it's just a small resort. They only have a bunch of little cabins, but these cabins are wicked cool. Wait till you see inside. So we walk in to our cabin. Let me get the door shut so the air don't come out. This place is massive. There are two queen beds. There is a full size dining table, couch, fireplace, TV, twin bunk beds, full-size refrigerator, full-size stove, microwave, full-size coffee maker, sink. I love this place. Oh, look at these stained glass windows. Oh my God, they're so pretty. So one thing to note is it's not usually really hot here. This is like some kind of fluke that they're having this week, of course, while I'm here, but they only have a small um, unit because again it's usually not this hot and it usually gets cold enough at night that you can just open the windows and it's like air conditioning but I don't even think it's going to drop below 70 tonight. Ah! The furniture is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this custom wood furniture. Now this door would be if you had two connecting cabins. Um, the cabin next to us has another like similar door where you could open them up if you had a large party. They also have a very big bathroom. They have, let's turn the light so you can see better. Gorgeous sink. These are newly remodeled, um, which helps too. So it's all new appliances and everything in here. They actually have a really big shower with a pretty decent sized tub with lots of little areas to stash stuff. And how adorable is this teeny tiny little hair dryer? That is the cutest thing ever. Of course, I can't get it back on. 
and it just comes with like little toiletries obviously um because of covid they're not doing daily housekeeping and stuff so and they're doing all disposable like plates and stuff where normally it is a full kitchen with utensils and everything the next day <laughs> Good morning everybody, Jen here again. I'm standing at the sign for the East Side Trail here in Mount Rainier National Park because we're heading up into the Grove of the Patriarchs and I heard there's some really big trees in here. So let's get going. Okay, so we're all like 10 feet onto the trail and it's already amazing. You got the river down there, you got the sun coming through the trees. Oh, this is, this is what heaven must be like. Although I really despise when trails go down first. So that means you got to come back up. I like going up first. Oh, I'm not close enough to fall in. That is some um, fast moving water. That is crazy. There's a lot of snow melt right now because it's been so hot. So these water, these rivers are cruising. There are some big trees out here. Not quite California redwood big, but big nonetheless. <laughs> This is so cool, and look at how beautiful it is. Oh, this is a really cool trail. However, it gets real rough, so you really gotta pay attention to where you're walking. This is a big tree. Oh, it's a beautiful red cedar. Oh my gosh, there are some massively tall trees out here. Like, I'm looking straight up. Can you see all the baby trees sprouting out of the bark of the dead tree? That is so cool how far it's just like regenerate and heal themselves. Now this is starting to look more like California. Now we're getting into some bigger trees, although they didn't have the rocks in California like they do here. These giant trees are like the perfect bench height for sitting and taking a break. There's literally just a rock wall right there. Like we're just walking along the side of the mountain. like I'm back at Disney in line for a ride which is a very rickety suspension bridge oh yikes so death yeah start again because I just started filming oh here we go <laughs> into the depths of death defying feats yeah don't okay. fall in that water's going real fast uh, exactly. I'm not gonna be able to catch you <laughs> here we go. careful with your stick don't put it in between <laughs> Look how this tree's growing out of the roots. That's amazing. Oh yay. I love boardwalks. Boardwalks are fun. Oh, this is the loop here. Oh, okay. Nice. So what do I say when you have a choice? Always go left. AGL, baby. Oh my gosh, look at how the sun's coming through. Oh, it's like an enchanted forest. Yep. It's like out of a movie. I love it. Alright, this one wins. This one's this about one the redwood size. So yeah. <laughs> this is a big tree. Holy cow. And it just goes up and up and up. And it's still living. Hold on, can I get to where you can go up some more? Way up there. All the way up. That's crazy. These trees are thousands of years old. And they're just so many. They're just everywhere. I love this. I'm so glad this is protected. I love the bark on this one. This tree is gnarly. I love it. But uh, this one actually is bigger than the other one. And it just goes on forever. But I just love the texture of this bark. This is so cool. And the knots in it. Oh, this tree's beautiful. I just cannot... Like, I'll just keep saying it. It's so pretty out here. Like, it's just, it's so green. So green. And now, 
we go up. The downhill part of the hikes are much more fun. I love how the difference in colors between the green of the trees and the blue sky are so vibrant out here. So next stop, we're back at Box Canyon and we're gonna hike by the Overlook Bridge. Um, yesterday we were mostly just scouting where we were gonna hike today. Today we're actually doing the hikes. So this is it, this is Overlook Bridge. I'm going to overlook before I get on the bridge, so I'm going to go right across to it. Oh, can't see anything. You have to be on the bridge. Well, this is dumb. Oh, wow. I thought no water coming through from yesterday. Oh, my God. Look it's at all that gray. snow melt. It's gray water. Woo. It's like 180 feet down from here. That water is a lot angrier than it was yesterday, that's for sure. Look, there's even a tiny little waterfall right there coming through. So the trail to the right goes up, the trail to the left goes flat. Guess which one we're taking? AGL for the win. And AGL literally for the win because this brings us back at the road next to the parking lot. We don't even have to do that steep hike anymore. Hooray! And as I said before, I did not film any outros for any of these videos, so it's going to be a lot of me sitting here for the outros. But this was a truly amazing adventure. Um, I think I'll bring a collapsible cup next time I want to use a life straw, make life a lot easier. And I must say, Cruiser's Pizza is like the best pizza I've like ever had, ever in my entire life. So if you are doing Mount Rainier, if you are staying in Packwood, I highly recommend the Mountain View Lodge. Those cabins were amazing, but you have to book way in advance. And I highly recommend Cruiser's Pizza. That pizza was so, like, watching this again, like, I want to fly, I literally want to fly out to Packwood just for that pizza. I'm that crazy. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys! Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.